Hi, it's Pastor Doug with our weekly update. This past Sunday, we once again experienced a little more normalcy as we welcomed two more members and watched a video of a baptism that we conducted last week. Nine-year-old Ashlyn said on her way home from being baptized, I feel amazing. Thanks be to God for this new life in Christ. As we've been stating all along and with the governor's mask mandate, we continue to strongly recommend everyone to wear masks while at church. Nearly everyone I've seen come through the doors are masked up, so we appreciate you doing so. We continue to provide mass-only spaces for in-person worship. We're currently targeting Sunday, August 23rd to begin children and youth programming. As we continue to make decisions about our Sunday schedule, we've created a brief survey for you to give us some additional guidance. We'd appreciate you taking a couple moments to take the survey so we can make the best informed decisions as we move forward. Uh, the survey can be found by clicking the Show More Information located below the video or by checking out the E! News article. Now, if you weren't present for our in-person worship service on Sunday, you missed the email that I read from Reverend Dr. Gideon Aki, director of Mishpael Fountain Ministry. He wrote to us concerning the persecution of Christians, which has once again come to his hometown in northern Nigeria. Gideon and his family are currently safe in the States, waiting for his girls to graduate from college before returning. He asked us to pray that the Lord would intervene into this horrific situation. The email along with the prayer we prayed can be found in our e-news and on our social media feeds. We're also receiving funds to help provide food for the many displaced persons as a result of the persecution. Please add these dear brothers and sisters to your prayer list and give as you're able to meet the great need. Thanks again for your faithfulness in giving to support Bluegrass's ministry. Some of you have been asking how giving is going. In talking with Bob Humphrey, our finance chair, it appears giving is down about 20%, but the good news is we still have the 80%. So a big thanks to all who continue to support your church home. I love you. I look forward to seeing you soon.